What do you do when a nation is ready for Christ? The need is great, the time is short, but you don't have enough resources to take advantage of that opportunity. That's what the problem we are facing. And by the way, that's what Jesus was facing. Let's look what he did so we can copy him. We can follow him. In Matthew 9, we see Jesus going all over the place. He is ministering day and night. There's a big crowd lined up for him to pray, to get healing. By the end of chapter 9 of Matthew, he's tired and he looks at the crowd and he has compassion over them. But he tells his followers, the harvest is great, but the laborers are few. Would you pray? Let's pray. And he prays with them. And at the beginning of next chapter, chapter 10, he is sending them out. So the need was great. He knew even Jesus could not take care of it. He saw the great opportunity, not just for that nation, but the whole world. But what he did is what we are doing at Iran Alive. Number one, having his heart. He had compassion on people. Look at the people suffering in Iran. A nation is ready for Christ, but at the same time, they're desperate. They're oppressed by the spirit of Islam, and they need our compassion. They need our help. So check, do we have his heart? Then he said, let's pray. Let's pray. There is harvest, and we, we can't take care of it ourselves. Let's pray. And we need to pray for Iran. These are the times of changing in Iran. The government may come down in the next few days, few weeks, few months, but not few years. That's on its way down. So praying is powerful. Pray against the Prince of Persia. Pray for wisdom from above that we can take advantage of this historical moment to transform a nation. And then what he did, beginning of chapter 10, he focused on those few. He said, time is short. I can't just go around and minister and minister. Let me focus on what counts and what brings long-term result. What he did, focused on training leaders and sending them out. That's exactly what we need to do in Iran. Iran, the greatest opportunity in history and in an Islamic nation to be transformed, to be a Christian nation. By millions, they have rejected Islam. Iran as a society is ready. The harvest is great. But we cannot just focus on harvest. We need, just like Jesus, focus on training leaders and sending them down. That's why we are focusing on 412 School of Ministry. Here, this is the set. I'm recording teachings right here. Week after week, I'm doing recording. What the purpose of recording is to equip, equip leaders for the work of the ministry. Together, we can change Iran. If we have God's strategy, if we just see what Jesus does, together we need to focus on training leaders. Right now, tomorrow is late. I'm thankful for those who are supporting us for the 412 School of Ministry. We have launched it. We are going forward. Uh, despite all the challenges, even physical challenges, my eyes, everything, we are pushing forward. This has to be done. The nation is ready. We cannot rest. We cannot postpone. And I'm so grateful for those of you who have the vision, you have the heart of God, and you have the mind of God, and together we will do the work of God. God bless you.